pretty corroded. Um, I'm getting the date 1924. Yeah, which are pretty much all of them. But it's 50 pfennig again, and uh, I never had one of them. Now I have two. Very lucky day. I'm loving it. I'm in a good spot. On to the next. Good signal. Perhaps two meters away from where I found the last coin. Uh, let's see what it is. Let's do it together. So, uh, again, I'm too stupid. Sounds like two signals, but I had this often. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there it is. Leaving that's for you. That's another of, another one of those clips. Yeah. This one's for you, it's giving, it's giving an excellent signal. Yeah, but it's a, it's a nice find anyway. All right, to the next. And another one of those ammo clips. Again, it's yours leaving. From now on, I don't film them anymore because the ground here is uh, infested with them. All right, to the next. Good signal <clears throat> and the life dig. Let's see what we got here. Uh, it sounded like a coin, but it's wishful thinking. I'm afraid of. Uh, let's check it. What is it? Well, it's still in the hole. It could be one of those aluminum domes again. something. Uh, what is it? Ah! No, it's for you leaving. Just another one. Perhaps I'm filming them. <laughs> Look, there's a little sign on it. I never saw that one before. Oh, let me check it out. All right, the next. This place is becoming stranger and stranger. Um, found another coin. I think it's five finish. Yes. Uh, from nineteen twenty. What do you think? Four or five? Wait a minute. I think it's 24, but I'm not sure. But um, obviously, this is a battlefield of the last battle of Berlin. Da da da. Um, why don't I find any Nazi money or Russian? This is strange. And uh, another th strange thing is that the <sighs> my hole smells like fresh brewed coffee. Very strange. But another coin, very nice. On to the next. I'm doing my first break. Sorry, I'm eating. Um, this is all what I found so far. Uh, I'm here. I just uh, had a look on the watch and um, pretty amazing. I'm already here five hours. Uh, I arrived at eight o'clock in the morning. Now it's one o'clock. This is five hours, right? No, I don't know. I don't care. So, let's see what there is. This is a piece of an artillery shell or a mortar. It's the top of it and I think this could be perhaps the place where the 
little domes belonged. Um, but I don't know. And I don't know if this is German or Russian either. Um, the bottom of a big shell, I think it's an artillery shell. Whoa! And it doesn't look like, you know, this is not flying with a, uh, with a grenade. So, I don't know why it's blown up. Um, this is funny because this is actually non-metal. I think it's clay, perhaps. I don't know. It sounds like metal. It was a surface find. Then I found um, those really good sounding little aluminum domes. This could be something for a light bulb or from a German stick hand grenade to, you know, the bottom, uh, which was screwed and then pulled and then exploded. Actually, these little things here are all parts of a German stick grenade, of several. This is the, the actual fuse. Remember when uh, you see in a, in a video game or, or in a movie, there's uh, on a German stick grenade there is a sentence written Vor Gebrauch Zünder einlegen. Uh, before use, put in a um, put in a detonator. And these are these detonators you have to put in before you use them. Um, these are all. This is all junk. I won't even take it with me. Uh, part of a chain. It looks like modern from from a bathroom or something like that. Uh, no keeper. This is a keeper, my little spoon. Then I found a nice little tool. It's for the spark plug. And it has a little screw. Oh, where am I? Here. And it has a little screwdriver attached to it. Mmm, this comes handy. This is a keeper as well. Uh, just another aluminum dome. No keeper. Oh, look. This little spider just jumped on me. Oh, okay. Um, then we have strange. This is all Mauser ammunition. But look at the color. This part looks like it's brand new, and the other side looks, hmm, well, you see. Uh, junk, 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 junk. The Russian one, just for sentimental reasons, I'm going to take it. Then we have a, a bottom of a, of a torch. The spring still functional. Um, it's a keeper as well. Then I have... A, a Wehrmacht pull tab. I don't know what it's what it's for, but obviously it's it has been pulled. It's not from a hand from a hand grenade, perhaps from a smoke grenade or even a can of something to eat. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna take it. Um, don't know what that is, perhaps a washer. I don't know, no keeper at all. So this is interesting. I don't have any clue what this might be. It looks like a shovel, but it isn't. Um, perhaps someone of you knows. Um, I'm gonna not take it. Then I have a, hmm, I think some kind of a valve of a car or a bike. I'm gonna take it. So this one is junk, 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 junk. Um, this is the Mauser uh, shells I'm gonna take. I'm gonna keep because they are 100% brass. 
this is a piece of fretnel and don't take it. Then uh, another piece of brass fretnel, another piece of brass fretnel, another, another, another. I'm gonna take those. Uh, yeah. Then part of some kind of a shell junk. This is a uh, top of a uh, mortar shell junk. Another part of a mortar shell junk. Um, I guess it's 30 millimeters um, puck or machine cannon. They're not exploded, so they could be dangerous. I'm gonna bury them. Junk, junk. A part of an exploded incendiary bomb. Junk. Um, a German. Uh, what do you call it? Leuchtgranate. Um, Leuchtspur. I don't know, it's junk. Other parts from the same stuff. Junk. Hmm. But then we come to the good stuff. These are the coins I found, and the strange thing I didn't notice uh, when I found them. These are not Reichspfennig, these are Rentenpfennig. And they're all the same. And I found them perhaps in a 10 square meter area. Strange. This is a nice uh, silver groschen. I'm gonna have to clean it, throw leave it. It will, it will clean up nicely. And then there is the Nazi party badge. Okay, that's so far. This is really nice. Didn't expect to find so much coins. So many coins. And that's for Liefen. I found seven of uh, those ammo clips. This is how it wants might have looked or well, for sure there would have bullets in it but this is how they work um, I found seven leaving there for you uh, okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep on doing my break and then I'm going to go this direction this one is interesting uh, not that I found out uh, enough uh, shell casings, but this one's different. Uh, you can see, or you see the the dents in the side of the of the shell casing, and uh, this is not a real bullet. It's uh, it's one piece, so it's it has no powder in it, nothing. And uh, you see how deep the hole here is. This is a uh, um, what they called exerzier or rehearsal or training uh, bullet. Funny to find it here in, uh, in an actual battlefield. Perhaps they trained here before. I don't know. This is a nice find. <laughs> On to the next. It seems that the goddess Fortuna has left me. Mm. Well, not at all. Um, since my last good find, which was a, a coin, uh, two hours have passed and this is the useful stuff that I found. Two mm, OK buttons. They're older than World War II, I guess. This one not, this one is a uniform button. Um, an underwear button. A big rimfire cartridge, interesting. Two more clips for leaving. And this is actually, not this, this is just a piece of junk. Um, I found these three parts in three different holes. And look what's possible here. 
Let me do it like that. And I think it's the case of an old camera. That's nice, huh? Oh, there's writing. Ford. Ford. Ford? I don't know. I have to clean it and, uh, yeah, see what it is. Hopefully I get something better in the next few hours, because I have to leave in two or three hours. Um, yeah, wish me luck to the next. Okay, we're getting closer again. Uh, another lovely little button. And you can still see a little gilt gold. And it has writing inside, on the back side, but I can't make it out yet. Okay, I'm not dissatisfied with that. Hopefully, do a good next. Another button, a uh, really ugly one. Uh, focus. Focus, there we go. Uh, without any shank. It just disappeared actually. It was so brittle. Ah, hmm. Yeah, oh, I love buttons. Wow, look at that one. This is probably, no, not probably, it is. It is new. What is there written? Seven by 64 RWS and when you shake it you can still hear the, the powder okay never saw this one before to the next <coughs> yeah welcome to a real short roundup uh, actually I showed you everything in the woods. I uh, just wanted to show you how well some things clean and some things don't. So uh, all in all I found uh, 39 of the <coughs> uh, pure brass shell casings of the Mauser. I found a nice little hammer. Uh, for you leaving I found two four, six, eight, ten of the ammo clips <coughs> and look my little mosque tower top cleaned very nicely um, yeah uh, let's go to the coins so this is the silver groschen now you can can see it it's from 1823 and it uh, has a mint mark A, which is Berlin. The other side, again, it says... Focus... Yeah. Friedrich Wilhelm III. Right? Yep. Well, let's see, am I right? Yeah. Friedrich Wilhelm III. König von Preußen. This is a very nice find. And you saw how uh, how crusted and dirty that it was. And you know, silver cleans up very nicely. Okay. Uh, I found one Nazi coin. It's a 10 Pfennig from 1941. The front side is really destroyed. It's a zinc coin. All right, here are all my, it's not a Reichspfennig, it's uh, five Rentenpfennig. They are all Rentenpfennig, uh, and they are all from 1924, 
that's the they were pressed or minted or whatever you might call it. Um, you remember that ugly button I found? I found. I cleaned it, and it appeared that it has a a custom made. Now you can see it. Uh, a custom made design on it. Actually, it's not that ugly anymore. And the uh, funny thing is, if you look um, where the shank was, it was here, you can still see the holes. Um, you see that this is not rust, not rusted. This is where the shank was soldered to it, I think, uh, in a not so professional way. So I come to the conclusion this is a custom made button of somebody who had time and the tools to do it but he was not a good uh, craftsman. Alright what else do we have? Uh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Ah, I did a little research and perhaps it happened to you that you found what usually is called underwear buttons with three holes and underwear buttons with four holes. The story behind this is uh, these the three hole buttons are not underwear buttons. These are underwear buttons. If you see they are uh, much deeper than uh, what we call an underwear button. Uh, I, did I did a little research and found out that these actually are buttons for the Wehrmacht tarp. So it makes sense that they are a little bit deeper because they have to hold a heavier cloth and perhaps one or two layers of it. Alright, what else? Um, I cleaned the other button and it appeared that there is actually writing on it. It's written in a uh, in Altdeutsche Schrift and I, I can't make it out. The only word I can make out is on the bottom and there is written Standard. So... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Perhaps you know. Let me know. Okay, ah! Another piece uh, I found, which I didn't show you, is uh, an old radiator cap of the car brand Opel. It's uh, very heavy, it's uh, brass or copper, and I think it's very nice. Okay, that was it for today. I hope to get out on Sunday again, um, and perhaps I'm posting a new video. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Um, wait. Ooh. Ugly old man. Uh, yeah. It was fun for me, I hope it was fun for you too. Alright, see you. Bye.